number to call 0800 008 001. Meet Andrew McCartney. He's the marvellous man from Motat. Kia ora. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Good stuff. Well, firstly, set up MOTAP for us. It's the Museum of Transport and Technology in Auckland. It is indeed. So we're actually uh, New Zealand's largest museum of transport and technology. We've got uh, items in our collection that cover everything from the very, very earliest sort of motor vehicles and trams in New Zealand, all the way up to comparatively modern military aircraft such as the Air Mackie and the Skyhawk. Boys toys then. Indeed. <laughs> now what are you doing for the school holidays? Uh, so special? these holidays we've got on a fantastic holiday experience called ON, which is all about energy in all its various shapes and forms. We're looking at just the different ways that energy is produced in New Zealand, so looking at your hydroelectricity, wind power, all the fun stuff like that. Um, we've also got the Fonterra Science Roadshow that are in uh, helping us out with that. Uh, they've got some great exhibitions, about 70 of them in all up, which is quite big. Wow. And you're going to show us how to make, uh, do, you, do you run these little workshops? You're going to show us how to make a hovercraft now. Yep, so you run absolutely. this kind of thing at Motat as well. The kids can actually make some stuff and learn about science. And We do, yes. We um, have make and take activities for all our holiday experiences. If you come in and visit us at Motat these holidays, then you'll actually be able to come in and make a pinwheel. Right. Let's uh, show me the start of this hovercraft then. We'll need a balloon. Great. Yep. So this is just a really quick and easy activity that you can make at home using simple, easy to find items. So to make this hovercraft, we're going to need a balloon, we're going to need a CD. Um, you can use just sort of a blank CD like we're doing here, or you can also just use an old CD that you don't like so much. <laughs> and or a coaster. You know when you get it wrong? <laughs> when you um, download something wrongly or whatever it is and you burn it to disk and it all goes wrong, you've got these kicking around. Absolutely. So the other thing you're going to need is just some blue tack and also a pop-top bottle cap from a drink bottle, like a water bottle or something like that. And you're going to make a hovercraft out of this? Absolutely. What are you, MacGyver? <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing you want to do is you just want to take off a little collar down the bottom of your bottle cap and just take off the little plastic cover at the top. OK. And this is going to form the valve, which is actually going to help us release the air in a controlled fashion. Right. So once you've taken care of this, grab your blue tack, sort of roll it into a sausage shape, just like this. And then spread it evenly just around the bottom of your bottle cap. So your blue tack's going to create a seal then, that's, that's the job, is it? That's right, so this will um, help us affix it to the CD, and it will help stop the air escaping in directions we don't want it to. OK. Can be a little bit fiddly at times. It's all right, we need to keep the kids busy, they've got a couple of weeks <laughs> off. Cool, might just grab a little bit of extra okay. blue tack. It's a nice thing about this, you can always so patch up the holes. How do you sort of, if you're doing um, energy production, mm -hmm. from, you know, geothermal to hydro and everything in between... Yeah, sure. Uh, how do you bring that down so the kids can kind of understand it and what do they get to do? There? Um, well, one of the things we're trying to do is we do try and make education fun mm -hmm. and we try and um, get it so that it can be accessed by everyone. Um, a lot of our signage is kind of put together in such a way that it makes it really easy for parents to help explain to their children, which is one of the ways we've found most effective to explain it. And you'll be able to see a lot of pictures and just really simple diagrams that explain how you get from hydroelectricity right down to the electricity that comes in through your home. It's always good when mum and dad know what they're talking about, isn't it, really? Indeed. So once you've um, put the blue tack on the bottom of your bottle cap like this, you want to just put it slap bang in the middle of your CD, okay. press it down really firmly. Now the thing you've got to make sure about is that you just don't have any gaps around the outside. So once you've done that, you're going to take your balloon, blow it up. We're using a balloon pump here, but just, you know, blow it up using your mouth if you've got strong lungs. So just pump it up a little bit. Now taking it off, making sure you hold it on. Don't want to tie this off, otherwise it won't work. Okay. And just very, very carefully stretch the opening of the balloon over the top of the bottle cap, just like that. Okay. This part can be a bit tricky, so you might want to just get a parent or guardian to give you a hand with that. That's why you're here, they wouldn't trust me. Absolutely. Doing <laughs> <laughs> so once you've taken care and um, put that on, uh, you get to have some fun with it. So if you just pop the top, you'll see it starts to glide along. Give it a bit of a push. Oh, just the oh, And it'll see. go backwards and forwards. That works quite well, doesn't it? Can we now, do it again? We can indeed. So we'll just blow it up. Yeah. Now, if you put more or less air into this, mm. you'll get different effects. So the more air, the sort of, it'll actually float slightly higher and it'll float for much, much longer as well. Okay. And likewise, can, if you put less in... I can see all the mums have just gone to rummage around and dads to rummaging around in the, uh, in the cupboard now looking for a balloon, <laughs> a bottle top and an old CD. Oh, so let's give it another try. So then you give it a whack, yeah? Just... That's right. Whoa! You could do some air hockey with this. You could indeed. Uh, so you can actually get a couple of these. Um, you can sort of race them along. Um, a, good, a good idea to do is you put a sort of mark down on the floor. Uh, you need a nice smooth surface for this. It works mm. best. 
So, um, and then you can just kind of give them a push, get a couple of them, and see whoever can get it closest to the mark. What's your favourite thing at Motat at the moment? What do you like? Uh, my favourite thing at Motat uh, is probably our new aviation display hall, yeah. uh, which is on our Mayola Road site. Yeah, because it's in two places, isn't it? And you get the tram between the two. It is you? indeed. So we've got our main site on Great North Road, which is where you'll see our automotive collection, you'll see our trams and things like that. Then if you head over to Motat 2, which is our Mayola Road site, you'll see our aviation display hall housing the Sir Keith Park Memorial Aviation Collection. You'll also be able to see our rail collection and our military collections as well. There you go. What more could you want? Thank you very much for that, Andrew. You're very Kids, welcome. get amongst it, give it a go. For more information on Motat holiday events, check out our website, Martai. Thanks, Rod. Get that video out, Farno. It could win you a big prize.